Messer, welcome to UCF. How has it been so far for you, getting used to Night Nation? Well, I love Night Nation. It's been a great experience. Um, the people have really embraced me and uh, shown me a lot of love and just really have had a great time so far. What's the challenge? You've got to move, you've got to build your program, you've got to hire coaches, you're out recruiting. It's been a lot, hasn't it? It's been a lot. So after my press conference, I went to Baton Rouge for four days and I thought, hey, I'll be in and out, but I haven't left since. <laughs> and so I've been here for over a month, over six weeks, and um, we've been fortunate. We just completed our staff, uh, it hasn't been announced. Um, and we've been fortunate to sign over five players. So we're working hard and getting it done. One of those coaches is Coach Brown, who's got some familiarity with UCF. Was that a factor in your hire? Yeah, it definitely was. So one thing about Coach Brown is I've always watched him through the years and said, hey, if I get a head coach and got a job, this guy is someone that I would look to hire and just kind of kept in contact a little bit with him throughout the years. And, and the fact that he knows, uh, you know, UCF was – to me was the, the difference in, in, in making the decision. So I was very excited to get him here as a part of our staff. How does UCS success the last couple of years and most recently really help you out on the recruiting trail? Well, um, UCF, the brand overall helps me out in the recruiting, in the recruiting trail. Um, I would say, you know, as far as recently, you know, there's an expectation here. Our players, the ones that we have remaining, um, knows what it takes to win, and I like that. I think that that's going to be key when we start getting the players on the court and working them out. Is that been that's been a a bar set? So I think that that's always good. What are those conversations like with those returning players? There's been so much transition, yeah. people coming and going, and you have to understand an athlete has to do what's in their best interest as they see it. But what have those conversations been like? You want to keep those people? Oh, absolutely, you want to keep them because they put so much into UCL. And this is their memories, their brand, what they've done. Um, but I also understand that they have to do what's best for them. So for me, I really have focused on the five. We had five that really has committed to stand and just trying to build from there. Do you think of this as a rebuild? Um, you know, I think it's going to be some challenges. But I've been fortunate, everywhere I've been, it's been challenges, you know, from a basketball player at the University of Arkansas. We were not a top 25 program. I helped lead them to a Final Four. Uh, when I took over, not over, but became assistant coach at Baylor, it was after Brittany Griner left, and they were rebuilding. I was able to help them build, uh, win a national championship. LSU were down at the bottom this past season, and we finished second in the SEC after our first year. So I'm excited about that. I love a challenge. Yes, we got some work to do, but I wouldn't say it's definitely completely a rebuild. It's just reloading. Saw you out at softball the other day, oh, taking in you. that regional. How does it make you feel to see the success of not only softball, but women's athletics at UCF? It has been an unbelievable year. You know what, you said it earlier, You know the success we had in women's basketball last year and the success we've had in track, softball, just complete volleyball winning. It's just been tremendous. And for me to walk into that and see our, our players and our head coaches, you know, lead our young ladies, it's, it's been really great. And so I, I'm excited to be a part. I love supporting. I was able to go out to the softball game before hitting the recruiting trail, and it, it's great.